And the re-jumps out here towards bottom ramp are saying absolutely nothing. And look at the space that Kixan's taken. Fallen finds the opener though. Jay comes down, sends close against Startu, loses that fight. Low HP against two individuals now of the T. Saikak and is going to get one of them. Second man, Akei Serato. Where is he going to get found? Fallen seen through the smoke as Nork sprays back. Clear to stall them out for now. Furia, or oh. Nades again, very well placed against Apex. Just making tons of noise, they should know exactly where he is. I think Fallen might even have an angle on Quad. And Jacob's actually got a flash, so if the XE comes through, he can flash over high and allow the peak to come through from Sense. Nades return onto the T's, doing comparatively a lot less damage. Molly's on the Sense, didn't actually extend. He's gone away without any damage whatsoever. Pressed on forward, seeing several. Now he's going to start to burn, and that one's a little bit better. Jacob caught out in the open, waiting for the fire to snuff itself out. A flash high, a swing wide, and a kill found for Cello. Nork now, his AWP forced back out of position, sprayed down through the smoke by Gatorato. And Kakanito, nothing that he can do left. What a take from Furia. And what I like about that, Jay, is even after that re-smoke goes down from Jacob, they kind of, they, they slow it down to a pace in which it's still fairly quick for the exec, but it's not that acceleration. It's not that immediate pop. And what that means is that they've got time to set up. They've got time to be able to, to come out wide, to have that flash assist, to make Jacob feel very uncomfortable out there to the quad angle. And Kakanito with the AK trying his best to hold on and bring that save into the next round. But for Furia, that's the reset you're looking for. Backs broken, economy in ruins. Bomb going up and nothing that they can do about that, of course. Oh, they're coming back. They're going to go out towards bridge. The timing could be off, but can, oh, there is at least one kill. Adjustment for Shake and might play bait and switch. Fallen's AWP has caught him back, though. Are they aware of the second man? Even if they are, it doesn't make a difference. No one else has got armor, so the aim punch is just going to be so uncomfortable. Jacob's got to hit the perfect headshots first. Check the left. Keep his eyes on the right. Yuri does get caught. Okay, Orpa. Shots missed out. Otherwise, okay, Serato. That's going to be the casualty to return. And Furia maintaining control of the situation. Yeah, Fallen just trying to get that AK as far away as possible. Now, in towards the B play, there actually has been a little bit of a rotation. The issue is, they just don't have much to work with in this 3v3 on the defense. P250 stands first and foremost. Nork taking fights at range. Molotov will force him back. Kixan will be next up on the defense. Fallen in the backline position. Engage with there against Nork. Takes that for Frantzelty. Sensors get one decent pick. That's as far as it goes, though. Fallen with a quick double. And towards Guardians. And Cello can get on top of the boost box. But that flash that actually came through from the elevators. Kixan tries to press and aggress without a teammate. Gets caught there from Fallen. Sense takes Case Serato elsewhere. Though I think he's known by Art. Start a little bit closer. There's the shot. There's the advantage back for Furia. Art might be low, but so is Sense. The high HP individual's been taken out. And, and this is really where Furia are at their best. When they're lurking in towards mid, when they're getting success out towards A, Yuri doesn't quite find that connection onto Kafkanito, and now they can start shifting elsewhere. It's a three on three scenario. Still so many players tagged up here. Orp set in for Fallen. Cello starting to make his move. Sensor is a ballsy play, and he gets taken back for it. Cello swinging out wide to the site, trying to buy some breathing room for Furia. Or is he? He's just making noise. Oh, the bomb's no. still there towards ramp. Sense starts leaning into it. Oh, sorry, Nork, I should say, starts leaning into it and does get the kill. Two versus two, and now Furia have to hit. They're just everywhere. They can smoke off deep. They can get that bomb down. What about the reposition? Fallen hasn't opted to get into elevator or towards Sniper's Nest. They're going to play quite defensive in this 2v2, and Fallen still has a smoke to work with. Hart's got the AWP, 11 points of health. Fallen so wary of the bat line, so wary of the ramp play. AWP, a shot misses! And now Apex have a chance, they have access to the bomb site. Fallen, he's nervous. he sees one, Kakanito shuts down, Ah, oh, Fallen takes one back, Norks at a one-on-one -on -one with very little HP, no kits either, taps that bomb, and leaning in against this man, he sees him, Fallen just dives out of the way, AK recovered, but there's nothing left in it, there's no time, he'll get the kill, that's as far as it goes though. And remember, whoever wins this map will be on series points to win the entire grand final, and with Mirage in question of being strong for both teams, a steal again for the third time in this best of five of winning each other's map pick could be everything for Furia. They have a chance to equalize at the very least, carry it on further if the momentum is truly with them. Apex certainly focused on the rifle rounds here. This one's a formality. 
Trying to avoid the SMG kills if possible. Apex will have their eyes set on the rifles and their eyes set on getting Nork back involved. Now, we probably won't see as much impact from him on T side with the AWP, but it's not to say that with the AK in his hands, he can still deliver. Furia want to get as much money farmed up in this round as possible. Apex are so passive. They've got zero map control. They are trying to get Furia to press the issue. And they might get their wish, but what will it come at the cost of? Again, money bonuses is what Furia are prioritizing the most. T side players will start walking their way into stairs. Case Serato's heard them. Jacob Steagle might have to pop a couple of heads back here. Yuri, especially, uh, not quite as good as Nork was. We'll just get those smokes in the way, so that, my, that man is caught off. Nork instead prioritizing the entry, so there's more money to be gained on the T side. They get a bomb plant here. That spray is very awkward, but Cello holds his nerve, doesn't quite hold the triple. Fallen on Yuri, however, can't clean up the rest. What a game it is. I'm all for it. Beautiful stuff from both sides. Biding to edge the other one out in the scoreline. Biding for that ninth, which seems to go the way of Fallen first and foremost. Kakanito becomes his ninth kill of the game. Kicks in. Trying to see if he can find a return. That nade on Yuri is pretty effective. The HP but Fallen finds Jacob next. Again, the alley press is not there for the T side. For the utility down, Sensor's going to get caught by Cello with his own aggressive face. Two left standing. Apex are getting picked apart by Furia. They try and fight back to no success at all. Kicks in. Just wondering how it all went so wrong. And it comes down to the man that's won it all. Fallen has an incredible round. Boosted up out there at the alley. Everything is given. Now this is another round in which Apex on a rifle round aren't even contesting ramp. A lurk in from mid, heavy out towards B. Kato. Now these are B flashes, this is a bomb. Might get caught up by the mid player. Okay, Serato does find one, but Kicksand does find that Trey. Kakanito is indeed caught off guard. The advantage is extended by Furia. Fallen Zorb holds the crack angle. Bomb has been dropped. Needs to get picked up, needs to get planted. It will be denied for the time being. And they need to hold off a two on four. Oh, this is so tough. Kicksand's gonna press. He's gonna get up towards the generators. He's gonna have fights from Guardian and CT coming in quick. We need something special right here and now. Nork checking positions. He might have to be the man. Kicksand is forward though. He swings for a headshot. A tight angle on Yuri. Oh, one no. player dropped. They missed the jump. Oh, fallen. There's not a lot of money in the reserve and there's not a lot of loss bonus. Chance of Furia to recover the situation. Opportunities abound. Apex reinvigorated. Grouped up. Fallen. Trying to make amends of his own accord. The AWP swinging in. Is he going to see anybody here? Nade damage. A kill. Oh, we lined up so much right there. Catches the casualty. He's looking for the next. And Yuri provides support alongside Art. And they regain control. Apex ripped apart on ramp. What a redemption. What a fantastic response. Sense, walking, lurking, working here with Nork. Yuri now known, Sense, looking to the backside, more above. Needs to do more damage to clear up the smoke. Furia just hold their positions and wait for Apex to act. Can they isolate this kill? You've got to imagine Yuri's a goner, but it's about everyone else. Apex. How do they deal with Yuri? Is it just time? Is it just patience? They've got 45 seconds. Gotta think about that bomb part as well. Gotta think about the post itself. Nork has caught Cello. Another kill isolated. They're aware of the AWP as well here. Tap burst of the M4. Yuri is stalling for as long as he can. Nork presses on, checks his corner. Got a turn 180 though. Where are the next two? It's a 2v2. Apex. Can they recover this here? Time is short, and they are trying to sell him on a fake, or are they? The bomb's on its way, Nork still looking for more here. They go back in for it, they've got to commit, and they've got to go whole hog. All the info here for Furia, 10 seconds on the clock, jump face, M4 has seen one. Nork charging into the hands of Fallen, who looks in the first and the second. The utility, of course. But they've got to win. They've got to take round 21. From swing round to swing round, Furia. Economy in tatters, but fallen skill is not. Shot on Kakanito, kicks things off. Art seeing nothing. Out here from the top of tarps, close towards 51, he's jiggling. 
not even a contact, not even seeing Util pass that incendiary back over to his teammate with the lurk smoke from Jacob. Apex are desperate. And they're finding nothing. Nothing at all. How do you even exec? You've got no utility. It's just gonna have to be dry, simple as that. Against Galil's, it seems like such a difficult prospect for Apex. Okay, Serato seen first. Burst not there. Spray against Sense. Not so much either. Nort tagged up heavy. Cello. Wanna focus? Fire. He's also missing his shots. AWP now on the scene. Bomb should commit and plant. Oh, he's so close. The is not ready for it. I thought the fit was there. To close out 2 1. AKs are at least in. The bomb plant bonus is there. Boost again. Look at this. This was successful, but for Fallen last time. Yuri. Can he replicate successes? Kicks out, ready for it? Absolutely not! Advantage Furia, Apex, continue on. Jaken revealing himself to the top of Ramp and backup is on the way. Flash is sent, adjustment is so far off the kilter. Cello with two, Kakinito and Norka the last two. Now just one, the most impressive one. But a 1v5 ace is not all possible. It's 13-9 for Furia as they take the advantage in the series now up by 2-1. Three days ago, we saw a 13-3 scoreline for Apex on this map of Vertigo against Furia. But oh no, three maps in a row stealing each other's map pick. A fantastic performance from the Brazilian. A resurge for a resurge and then a drop off in Pell like there for Jacob. Still bottom of the board. Seven frags is what he ended on. I got a 